Thanks for staying with us. Now, Babatunde Olalere Badamwasi is a Nigerian businessman, real estate developer, and politician. He's the chairman and CEO of Red Bricks Home International Limited, the renowned developers of the iconic Amen Estate Igbejuleki in the eastern part of Lagos State. Uh, he's joined the conversation via Zoom. Um, but um, I think we'll have him in a bit because uh, I think we're having troubles connecting with him. But uh, we'll just continue the conversation when he joins us. We'll, we'll bring him on. All right, so ladies, um, let's quickly take um, because a lot of people are actually sending yeah. in. Yes. Yeah. Should I go ahead? Go, go ahead, AK. Okay, so we have this from Nancy, and she says education, 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 public education with a high minimum standard. So I don't understand. Nancy, what you mean by high, high minimum, minimum standard? <laughs> <laughs> but I guess what you mean is that at least have a standard for education that can mm. be recognized outside the country. Mm. I, I am with you on that one. Ifama says, Onicha, becoming our very own China. Wow. As someone that thumbs up um, SMEs, I would say that's a good one, really. Be, been developing that to be our own very big China. Norma says, smiling for me means better health care, like the NHS. I always fault when people say Nigerians don't want to pay tax for better things. We will pay. Mm. I also am with you, Norma. If I see these things, I would pay. I, I'm paying them. Mm. I will pay. Absolutely. Okay, so yes. let's take more comments from um, okay. this. In. Well, for me, um, Sally Su says, improved security will make me smile. Mm. Hmm. I'm always saying that the bedrock of any society is security. Mm. If you secure the system, a lot of things will work. Absolutely. Then Absolutely. Wale says, I know this is overflogged. Just having a new core crop, sorry, of purpose driven leadership in government. Mm. Mm. It's hmm. going to be all. I don't believe so. I disagree with him. That's okay. Why do you we, disagree? As the followers will make the leaders. Leaders don't make the followers. Um, so, Lami, sometimes yes. I think that maybe you're underestimating the influence and the power that your leaders have. So we, say, we keep saying these things every time. But a leader, a charismatic leader, even a weak leader can affect the people. Mm -hmm. It can affect the way we follow. It can affect if there's a revolution. It can affect if we're docile. It can affect if we're mediocre. Okay, 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 chill. Because if I give you a law, Lami, if I give you a law, and I have everything that supports me as your leader. I'm coming, I'm coming. Listen, Okay. we've had, listen, just one minute, Ua. We've had six election cycles in Nigeria, mm -hmm. post-1999, mm -hmm. and we have not gotten there. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? You don't think we have problems? No, I, I believe what that... What is the problem? We've had an opportunity six times, and we are still okay, the listen, same Okay, let chances. me take a few comments. Um, Obinna says, medio, um, is this mediocrity? Oh, sorry, meritocracy, justice, fairness, mm. and eradication of nepotism. Wow. This is supporting you. That's from Obinna. That will make him... That will put a smile on his face. And I think I have one more. Nigerian population is a major issue. We need to sort many things for very many people. Um, he didn't put his name. Um, do you yeah, have so more, more saying, comments? Are we saying that China, sorry, in relation no, no, no. to that, are we saying that China is um, not working because mm -hmm. they are too much? No. And, no, no, I'm just saying that he's saying our population is a major reason why we're being misgoverned. Mm -hmm. No, well, I, I, I didn't read it that way, though. Okay. <laughs> I am saying that he's trying to say that our population is an issue. Do you understand? And we need to sort many things for very many people. The only way <laughs> we have population issues is yeah. Lagos. You That's think so? Place. Of course. Everybody you wants think to come so, to but Lagos. I think, I think even the lack of proper <laughs> sense... <laughs> You go to your village oh, and you see me. land and all that you can build there and all Lami, that. that but everybody wants to be in Lagos. We should be going, Nabi. We should be going. Yes, the only place we have population issues. Okay, so is Lagos. attention viewers. Lami has chased all the ladies of ways away from Lagos. <laughs> so if, by you, if you come tomorrow and 8 p.m. you don't see us live on air, we and know that, that it's Lami. We on Zoom. <laughs> Oh, really? You're well, even yeah. chasing me. She will oh, get me on Zoom. <laughs> Let's take more comments. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, not sure we have our guest yet, but in case, if it joins in, we'll, we'll let the audience know. So we have this one from Ade. It says, good evening, ladies. Happy Nigeria Independence Day celebration. What will make me smile as a Nigerian is when equal opportunities is achievable at all mm. levels. Good security, good infrastructures, and great enabling environment for all. Nigerians in the diaspora are ready to come home oh, if wow. all I play. So I'm guessing that Ade, Ade is in the UK. He's in the diaspora. Yes, he's in the UK. 
And yes, it's not lying. Work? It's not. Yes. It's not lying, really. Mm. But you know what? I relocated to Nigeria in 2009, and that was a time Nigerian economy was booming. And guess what? The trendy word in England then was, "Are you relocating? When are you relocating?" We were all so happy. And I also joined her, and I came to Nigeria. And at that time, I can tell you that maybe we had not gotten there, but I can tell you it was way, way, way more bigger. Mm. There were job opportunities. Things were, you know, things were moving. Mm. So it's unfortunate that we've now taken like 1,000 steps backward. Mm. There wasn't much of this relocation thing and all that. People were coming into the country. People were moving back. Mm. So I really do not understand what's happening now. And you were saying... Okay, so I was okay. going to ask a question. Um, we know that they say, oh, the American dream, you know, what exactly is the, the, Nigerian, dream. the Nigerian dream? dream? What are we about, you know? So what is the promise of Nigeria to you as a person? Okay. That if I live in Nigeria, this is who I become, you know, this is how I will evolve to becoming this person. What is that promise of Nigeria? Well, this is a very tough question. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I think I'll answer it personally. And my take is this. For me, the Nigerian dream is a dream of resilience. And I tell myself, if I can succeed, <laughs> I live in Nigeria. I can live anywhere, anywhere. in this world. <laughs> so I think that what Nigeria does for Tough me easy. is it toughens me. And it tells me that there is hope. See, mm. well, if I can wake up every day and I want to try again, ah, well, I can live anywhere. <laughs> I can live anywhere because well, I am constantly mm. upset every single day. So I mm. go on the roads, I am upset. I go into um, a meeting with some set of people, I'm upset because I feel that my country can do better. Mm. Okay? Simple thing as traffic light. So would you say that it is not there? Because I, I agree with you. The people and its leaders are the problem. Mm. Okay? I'm very sorry. The bus drivers, they annoy me. They do annoy me. Mm. Why? Because you were ready to risk not just your life, oh. but the life of the next person in the next car and the people that you're carrying just because you want to be traffic light and you're not going anywhere. Mm. Really? Yeah, they are, they are, they, you know, the number of trips <laughs> they can make, we quit the country. Okay, so let, let me take more to. comments. Um, uh, Rosalind says, if only our children who are graduates can get government jobs, it will put a smile on the faces of Nigerians. Ah, about government job, I don't know if I Please agree with that. Why do you them to be so? entrepreneurs? <laughs> No, 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 no. So Nifemi no, says, do you have more questions? Uh, comment? Yes. Sorry, on that, that, issue, on that. Yes. that issue on civil service, I believe that the civil service is the major bedrock of any society. Mm -hmm. And right. where we have gotten it wrong is most people who work in the social service, sorry, civil service today, mm -hmm. they are not the best. Once you have third class, they will tell you go to the ministry. I think it's part of what is happening because they are the ones that are closest to the people. Politicians make um, policies, but the civil servants are the ones that actually carry it out. Okay, somebody is agreeing with you. Lamy is very much on point. Many parents will be lonely at their 60s. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But if loneliness is the price to pay hmm. for my children to wow. escape this bad situation, hmm. oh my goodness, I and agree. have a sound future, I am ready for it. Hmm. Our case in this country is really sad hmm. with no hope in sight. Hmm. Taiwo, um, ho, um, Boabi, that's how they pronounce the name. But I don't want us to lose hope. So the goal, for this, show, the goal for this show was not for us to lose hope. It's actually for us to say, you know what, our government were telling you guys, what we need, you know, is very, very minimal. If you can look away. I was driving on Bagada Expressway today. I think I've not been there in a very long time. Oh. You need to see the metal work hmm. that is being done on the road. The piling. You know, and... The piling of the metal work. By the time they cast that, um, what's it called? The concrete on that road. That road will last so many late. years without people having to go through horrendous traffic and all of that. So my point is, we are not asking for too much as a, as a people. We are asking for too no, much. No, we are Don't not. Don't lower our standards. <laughs> we are asking, okay, we want to we are ask asking for, for okay. we are asking that you elongate our lives. Mm -hmm. Make our lives quality. Look at a journey that is supposed to take me 20 minutes, I end up spending three hours in traffic. It makes mm -hmm. no well, sense. Well, let me warn you, don't travel, said this thing before. don't travel by road to like... I've said this thing before. If we start to put um, Naira and Cabo value on, our on time. the time we spend in traffic, maybe the government will rethink it. They will rethink, they will make sure that travel time is short. Because if you say for every 30 minutes I spend an extra 30 minutes, the government pays me a return for the meeting that I've missed or whatever, well, the government will sit up. Wait, wait. Today, eh, yeah. now for the followers, Nigerian citizens, mm -hmm. I'm here for them. <laughs> Listen, 
Is it Ambody? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. That is going to is it the one driving for is it Buari that came to drive? You will see Nigerians are totally Lawless. Um, lawlessness. We are. Most of uh, our exactly problems. You can generalize again. I go say some hey. Nigerians. Okay, some sorry. Nigerians. Because okay, I'm sorry. not lawless. Some Nigerians. You will see them that there's a queue. Somebody will just come bust out from that queue. Will face the oncoming vehicle and everybody will start doing and there will be a chaos. Mm. And you spend more time. Is that the government? We need to take it from down. I think that's part of the problem. Okay. I was going to share a story. I don't want to forget the story. I went to my auntie's shop in the suburbs of Lagos. And right directly in front of that store, there was a school. There is a school because it's still operation, mm -hmm. operational. And I said, who on earth will take their child to this school? Mm. You know what my auntie said? She said, uh-uh, a lot of people. I said, OK, what is the government doing about it? Because I, for one, think that this school should not be operational. That was, what, what about the quality assurance section? They should come and seal this place. She now said, okay, let me tell you something. Somebody from the Ministry of Education, Give up chill, no, actually came. They, when she resumed, that official, when she resumed and she was going to come and seal the school, her other colleagues told her, don't go near that school, just leave it. She said, no, I will do my job. Do you know she actually went there and sealed that school? And, she lost that and the proprietress told her, <laughs> we are playing with fire. By the next day, you will not wake up. Lo and behold, she did not wake up. Oh my goodness. No. So tell me anybody from the Minister no. of Education that will go there again. So part of our problems. Are we, be, uh, we let me ask you to another level. No, I'm not there. No. <laughs> part of what I'm saying is it, we as Nigerians are also part of what is causing she, yeah. um, she, Lamy, I must agree, I must agree with Lamy because what are the people that vandalize pipelines? Who are the people Thank that you. destroy Real already lines. infrastructure infrastructures that we have? So even you didn't notice all of, the medians that was constructed by the past governor Ambody and or just they, they go to it. they steal it and they they sell it as scrap metal let's involve our audience because they are really communicating on whatsapp yes. um i think you have some questions but while you're searching for yours um benton is saying what will make me happy when our leaders become so restless that whatever is done outside this country we can do it better in nigeria and begin to do it mm. so you see in dubai for instance um they take pride to say that you can't go to another country. The, the Arab Emirates, in fact, not really Dubai alone. You see those people, they are very proud. that you, you, The other places cannot be finer than mm. our place. Mm. So you go to Dubai today. Eh? When you go back in six months, you are seeing something completely different at the airport. Mm. In another year, in fact, if you stay three years without going to Dubai, you will not recognize just the airport alone, mm. not to talk of the development that is going and on. And what is responsible country. for that? It is selflessness it is of the selfless leader. leadership. Good governance. Good governance. Selflessness. The thought that my people deserve something great. I need to put smiles on the faces of my people. I need to make my people happy. I need to empower my people. What? Do you that know is that, the thought. Do you know that even the wealth that you want to get, if you create the enabling environment, you'll be wealthier. Absolutely. That money that you're looking for, it will come. Okay, so let's take more comments. I think I have a comment. <laughs> okay, let me go for mine. Please go for quickly, yours. quickly. Yeah. Okay. Chisum says it makes some sense. Mm. She, and she quotes, Nigerians have been conditioned to demand just the basics that might even not come. The suffering is just too much, guys. Wow, that's from Chisum. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sad. Very sad. So let me take one more while uh, AK is trying to find hers. The same Benton says Nigerians always do better in all things. Our can do spirit is um, indelible. This is this I am always proud of as wow. a nigerian and that's so true that's very we true. have that resilience we have that can do spirit we can do anything mm. you just imagine like what i don't know whose comments that, that talked about on Nisha. just imagine yes. if the government Anaba. creates you know Before anaba that. and create that place that place will be 10 times better than china because even without all of these things they've churned out amazing stuff I'm do you understand you. just imagine giving them the perfect raw materials when we're looking at that road today on, on, on the bagada road is it the iron? We have mm. it. Is it the bitumen? We have it. Mm. Is it the, the uh, was it the granite and the cement and all of those things? We have every single thing to make this country great. So what exactly is 
you know the what is uh, what what is causing that you know that unwillingness um, oh yeah political lack of political will you know we can't play politics way. with everything i agree that politicians will always be politicians but can we change can we flip that coin to begin to see that you know what your life matter my life matter and we put in what would make Lamy drive on Ikorodu Road without having an accident. Or what would make Uwa drive on Lagos Ibadan Expressway without be, uh, being caught in, a, in an inferno or something. Those are the or being ba kidnapped. That is Uwa, it. When, when people, when, when you can call out your brother in government for mm. doing something wrong, mm. that's when we will start changing. Mm. So, you know, everybody's a thief until your brother goes there. Mm. Now you so now protect your territory. You now protect <laughs> your territory. So now yours is connection. Other people's mm. is corruption. Mm. So when we begin to call out our own people, whether it's your uncle, your brother, your sister, your local government person that is sitting down there and doing the wrong thing, when you can look at them and call them out, then maybe we'll start making a headway. Okay. So let me read from Nifemi. <sighs> Nifemi says, Nigeria with standards for primary schools, secondary schools, tertiary institutions, that are world-class churning out innovators, inventors, entrepreneurs, solution providers, not just workers or mm. job seekers. Mm. With this, I'm having some sort of hope. You know why? Because in as much as we have some Nigerian youths that really do not apply themselves in correct places, but we, we have people that are applying themselves. I think on um, a n news channel, I watched a secondary school competition, I really can't remember the name of the competition, where students were coming up with a cheaper way to, um, a way to provide cheaper fuel hmm. that will even burn slower. And so we have people like that. We have um, the techpreneurs that yes. every day hmm. they're thinking of There's one a young program man to write. That, um, exactly. So our, our correspondent, you know um, Amaka Okoye, did a, a video of a young man that built a car. Hmm. You know, yes. and these things that... So, so, so what this person is saying that let's even have... For those people that... Because these people that are applying themselves, they're taking extra steps. These okay. things are not funded by the schools. So they okay. have to really okay. do it. Okay. The problem so. is that guy is already making plans to leave the country. Hmm. Well, that is it. We have it. But well, they are already making plans to leave. And okay, so Ola is saying the Nigerian dream is left to indi individuals. I think, you know, taking a cue from what you said about your personalizing mm -hmm. it, many Nigerians are still doing well. Nigeria is not the worst country in the world. Mm -hmm. I also relocated from the U.S. a few years ago. The Nigerian people are the problem of Nigeria. Mm. The press also need to report good things happening instead of only the bad parts of the society. And I absolutely agree with you. And that's why I keep hammering that the goal for the show today is not to, to drag anybody down. It's just for us to say, you know what? This, we, is, our reality. this is our reality. Because first of all, for a change to happen, you must first of all accept exactly. your current reality. This is what I have done wrong. However, I am willing to start to take baby steps, you know, towards go heading towards the right direction. And I must commend the government. If this government has not done anything, I know for a fact that roads this, in this season has been really, better, really good. Yeah. Really better. You know, you are building more sustainable roads that you know that this one, it will last many, <laughs> many years. <laughs> Don't use that Bagada road. No, too. now. Even in VI here. VI no, even now, in VI here. Yeah, 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 yes, oh, now. Okay, oh, but no, Don't use that Bagada road. No, no, no. no, 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 no on a serious note, <laughs> Olamide, even check, even inter, inter roads in VI yes, here. Some, yeah. You know, so I'm saying that, no, you know me, I mean, because my Bagada, Bagada road, I heard. No, being built. By yes, entrepreneur. Whatever it That's is. That's why I'm saying. Listen, be listen, cautious. Listen, the entrepreneur that is building that road is being given tax holidays. Holiday. Mm -hmm. That is it's still a partnership. It means oh, that yes. they are making yes, they're finding they're solutions. Make work, and let me yeah. explain to you, Lamy. So for me, my father is a builder. When I see a good work, you know, I know. Do you understand? Do and builder. this is this is what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. It puts a smile on my face. You know why? I know that okay, when I see the road being constructed, I'm willing to suffer. Because I know that by the time they are done, it's going to last 10, 15, 20 years. The road will still be motorable. Unlike what we see in the past that is Shirad. You know, you just put patches, pa, 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 patches, patches, patches and there. the next, after one rainy season, the road is completely gone. You Do you understand? So that's my point. That's what I am happy about. So, but let's take more comments. Okay. Yeah. So we have from Angela, not easy in Lagos running a, a business. Let us have better and unified tax system yeah. that would at least make my business thrive. Mm. So even if you want me, if you're not providing jobs for me and you want mm. me to provide for myself, please make it easy for me to do business. And I really can relate with this person because 
if you stay in some local governments, you don't even know where they would come from. The things that, the, the double taxation and the things that small businesses have to pay. At the end of the day, you're just wondering why you're doing business Double anyway. Hmm. I don't, uh, well, they will knock at your door. It got into a state that people now have to remove their signages. Yes. Hmm. Because if you don't remove it, last time will come today. This one will come to <laughs> Look at Television. The ones that are this selling does and, 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 and the ones that are selling garbage bags. So it's like different um, cartel for different local governments. For different, so the, hmm. you're, you do not actually know what it is required for you to, the kind of taxes or payments that you have to make for your business. Mm -hmm. And I really, really, really identify with this person. You know what, I, I, was, I had a discussion with my auntie some years ago when I went to the US. And you know, I was just taken by everything I saw. So I just said to her, auntie, when is Nigeria, sorry, when is Nigeria going to be like this? She now said to yeah, me, over 200 wait, years old. she said, guess what, Lamede, if every American relocate to Nigeria. Nigeria will become America. Wait, no, uh, no. And every Nigeria relocate to America. <laughs> In 10 same. years, you'll still be applying to get to yes. Nigeria. Yes. To Nigeria. To Nigeria. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Let's take more comments, uh, Lamy. Um, Hawaii is saying better mortgage system to help middle class mm. people. Mm. Yeah. Our homes, interest rate, and initial contributions should be looked into. Yes. I completely I agree totally with you. Agree because with you see, you. Since, I, since I stopped paying rent, I know how much burden Mm. It has really reduced, you know, for, for us because we are farmers. And the farm project that we're doing is not a short-term farming. Mm. If, I, if you do not have patience and resilience, you, you, can't can't do, you cannot be a proper farmer. And I know how much sacrifices I've had to make. I know how much things I have, to, how I have had to look away from because I, mean, I know you did not my buy. sister. If, if you call me for Ashwabi, please, I don't have money to buy <laughs> for me. You know, know? I don't call I know. Ah, love me. <laughs> you know, I know how much things I have had to look away from because I know that we are building something. You see, let me tell you something about the Nigerian person. You see, if I know that I am building something and in another five years, in another 10 years, both of us will smile together. Trust me, I will weather that storm with you. I will stay put and I will, you know what, I would ride that wave with you. But you see, the problem that I have, I, or I think I am observing, you know, even why people steal in government, they've looked at it that, okay, I've served 50 years, I've served 40 years. What is happening? You're waiting for your pension funds to come. The pension is not coming. You have served your country diligently. So, so I mean, there are so, so many are, factors. That should not be an no. Ah, no, listen, I'm not, I'm not no, justifying. No, no, no. no listen, uh, AK, I'm not justifying. <laughs> I'm not justifying that you, 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 you create a corrupt system. I'm saying that these are the little things That's that would get people to that point where, you know what, you throw caution to the wind and you say, you know what, but in the midst of all of this, well, can I quickly chip this in? Yes, go ahead. Part great. of the reasons, I'm not an economist. This just popped in my head that part of the reasons that we don't have a good mortgage system in Nigeria is because of corruption. Absolutely. And you know why? Our money is all our billionaires. They don't have hope in the system. So they channel their funds outside of the country. So if the banks don't have enough funds, how can they give long-term oh. mortgages? Okay, so we have a short time to really run. So let me quickly okay. take run through. Nicola says, a country with fairness and um, a country with fairness and state of origin. Um, fairness and state of origin, religion taken away from all applications. That's from Nicola. So he's, I think, uh, I, I, don't, I don't understand this message. So he's saying In when Kechi, you take away state of origin and all that. I've always said that thing. Fairness. That's why you ask me, I'm, I'm a Nigerian. Don't be asking me where you're from. Don't, I'm I don't a Nigerian. Believe, I don't believe so. I, I'm a Nigerian, but I represent a part of Nigeria, right? I represent a, a we culture. Lose our identity. No, we can't. No, I mean, listen. Girl. Listen, I am a Nigerian first, right? Then I represent the Edo well, culture. I think, I I think those things are no. important to allocate resources even. Say, listen. Let's yeah, quickly take more okay. comments because we don't have time. Oh. I, uh, AK, check your phone, please. Okay. And uh, <laughs> oh. let me quickly take... So, um, okay. Um, Ni, Ni says, seeing Makoko as a tourist uh, be and beautiful, uh, and island. beautiful island. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, then um, Inkechi says, priority placed on local government brand, local brands and enabling them mm -hmm. to grow with... Uh, um, we must create wealth for people. So yeah. we must we must patronize local brands. Uh, at the rate we're going, one, I don't know at the rate we're going, one. we will not have a choice. But, but because yeah. by the time you start buying, um, when when the dollar go for bid, it's yeah. five hundred. Yeah, you know, we will buy yeah. local brands. Our says 
Better mod get okay. I think you have okay. read what um, yeah. taken what Owa has okay, said. Okay, there is this one that says from Kano. Um, he says Lagos Eko ni Baje. Kano has a slogan in Hausa. I don't know. He didn't say it in Hausa, but he said, "Whatever you bring to Kano, we already have a superior one." That's mm. the end of the quote. So this the belief, and it always drives wow. their comments. That, that, that's uplifting. That is uplifting. Mm. That is very uplifting, and I like that. Well, I was going to point out to what you said, and I think that trust plays a great role. Because you said you're ready to go through the suffering if you believe that at the end it will be better. And I think that that's the problem Nigeria have with the rise in tariffs, the rise in all, um, taxes, also the rise in, in, in full. Yeah. Absolutely. Because we do not trust that these monies will actually make our lives better. And they don't make a good example. Nobody mm. is caught in cost. Absolutely. So um, Rosalind says, uh, ladies, most people outside this country live on government jobs. Why can't our government employ our children? That's still from <laughs> Rosalind. When they graduate from school, the youth can make life, um, make the, a life for themselves if given the chance to govern. That's from from Rosalind. I think on that note, um, um, final thoughts. <sighs> you know, I want us to give hope to the young person watching out there. Um, the goal for this show today was just to say, you know what, we, I mean, it's World Smile Day. We want to put smiles on your faces. It's not all bloom and groom, gloom. It is actually, <laughs> why is Lamy looking at me Lamy, like that? Lamy you know, but the truth is, yeah. we are in a very beautiful country, very blessed country. And see, the truth is, I, I'm happy that we don't have natural disasters. We don't have, we, extreme, we don't have extreme weather, weather conditions. conditions. Yes. We don't have all those things. God, so we have so. arable lands for farming and all of that. So we have. We are truly a blessed nation. So what would you leave? You know. So to that the youth? is why God is like this. Yes. <laughs> he has given us everything. I like a position. I wish yes. you guys saw it. <laughs> yes. Yes, because um, that's why we have everything, and God is not going to intervene. All this, uh, God will do it and all that. He's not going to intervene if we don't stand up and do the right thing. Yes. And guess what? I'm not relocating. No, I am okay. not. Oh, yeah, go ahead, AK, quickly, okay. one minute. I'd like to say that people have stayed in this country, and they have survived. They've become the richest people in Africa. They've become people... People that work hard and honest, they become people who could afford to buy Lamborghinis and Ferraris Whatever. for their daughters. <laughs> There's hope in the land. Let's cultivate it mm -hmm. together. Yeah. I just want to speak to the government. Honestly, it's, it, it's just very little things that we expect from our, gov our leaders. Very little. G fix the roads. Give us good uh, policies that would help thrive. I mean, help the SME, um, SMEs thrive in the country because we are the ones that will and build thrive. you know, the economy. Mm -hmm. So just help us to help you govern us better. So we'll see you guys <laughs> tomorrow. We apologize. I think our guest, you know, is <laughs> you know, is lost in transit or something. But we'll, we'll definitely bring, um, him, bring him to to the studio live. He was supposed to be here, but we apologize on his behalf. Now, please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at three p.m. It's been a very very insightful conversation. You know, keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at We Show Africa and Plus TV Africa. Thank you so much, ladies, for doing this with me. Thank now, in you. case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Um, the purpose of government is to enable the people of a nation to live in safety and happiness. Government exists for the interest of the governed, not for the governors. Now, that's from Thomas Jefferson. You are living as a governor. You are, your, your existence is because of us. So help make it right. Govern us well and give us good leadership that cares about the people. We'll see you guys live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen.